Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of September 25th to October 1st, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Libra. And then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone. But if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy first. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Libra. In regards to love for this week, Libra. Let's get three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right, here we go. What's the energy of Libra in regards to love for this week? All right, first card we have for you, Libra, is the Two of Cups in reverse. The Six of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, Hermit, Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. We also have Knight of Swords here. Ooh, Knight of Swords and the Tower in reverse. Someone's definitely coming, um, coming towards you to chase you. The Tower um, showing up can imply that there was some sort of big separation or breakup between you and this person. But because it's in reverse, this person feels like it's not over between the two of you. They don't want things to be over. And it does look like they wanna have a conversation with you with the Knight of Swords. They wanna communicate with you and, and have a conversation. Hmm. They don't agree with you giving up on this relationship. They don't agree. Because you are kind of in this energy, Libra, of not really doing much. It's almost like you're, you're letting the tower fall, basically. You're just letting the tower fall down. You're not really trying to um, save the relationship. And you do have really strong feelings for this person. We do have the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups. So you do feel a very strong soulmate connection with this person. However, you also feel like this relationship isn't um, equal. There's no equal reciprocation. So you feel like it's one-sided because you do have the Seven of Pentacles here. So you might feel like you're the only one who's truly investing in this relationship or who has truly invested. You're the only one who's truly like put in the work and put in the effort, or you're the only one who's, who's been taking this relationship seriously. With the Three of Pentacles in reverse, you feel like this person doesn't um, match your same efforts. Doesn't match your, your same intentions. It does show up here that you have like a really big heart and that you, you have a lot of love to give to this person. 
but it looks like you're, um, you're keeping all of that love to yourself. Because you feel like this person doesn't deserve it, or you feel like this person would, <clears throat> would just you know, abuse it or take advantage of it. Let me take a look at your psychology a little bit. Let's see what's going on in your mind. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, tell me about the Queen of Cups connected to Libra's energy. I just got in my, I just heard like the more you give, the less you get. Because you see this, this person has seven pentacles and then we have three of pentacles in reverse, which is kind of like a subtraction from the seven. So it's like the more you give, the less you get. Some of you might feel like that. Tell me about the Queen of Cups connected to Libra's energy towards this person. We have the Emperor. The Emperor. You feel like this person, um, all they do is try to control you or try to manipulate you. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups, the Three of Wands. And the Ten of Cups in reverse. Mm. Yeah, so you feel like this person's not really invested in having a future with you. Ten of Cups is kind of like, you know, having a future with someone. Also the Three of Wands. So you feel like this person, they're only, they're only with you for a temporary amount of time. Yeah, they're only with you for a temporary amount of time. They're not really serious about having a, a long-term relationship or a future with you and you feel discouraged and disappointed. Let me see their energy here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords to the Tower in Reverse, connected to this person's energy. You might feel like this person's all talk and no action as well. All right, what's the Knight of Swords to the Tower in Reverse and their energy towards Libra, the Sun in Reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Oh. Hmm. Um, this person feels like you have like a wrong interpretation of them. Okay, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not saying that Libra, that's, that's what they're saying. You know, if that's what they're saying. They feel like you have a wrong um, vision of them with the sun in reverse. You have a wrong vision, you have a wrong interpretation of them. You have a wrong idea of them. Or about them. They feel like you're being irrational. Or they feel like you're being judgmental. Or you're making assumptions that you don't have any proof of. And that are, according to them, are just simply not true. Hmm. 
yeah, they feel like you're misunderstanding them in some way, or like you're misinterpreting them, or you're, you're whatever image you have of them, it's, it's wrong. Okay. All right, let's go to your person side. <clears throat> let's see. All right, here we go. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of the person Libra is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week, September 25th to October 1st. Oh, hold on. I need to shuffle three times. Let's get three times. One. Two. Three. All right, here we go. What is this person's energy towards Libra spirit? What is this person's energy towards Libra for this week? First card we have for them is the Magician. You might be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo for some of you. We also have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And we also have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra at the bottom of the deck. We have the Four of Cups. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Seven of Wands. Okay, so, give me a second. Seven of Wands in reverse to the Knight of Cups. And the four of wands. This person has two different energies here. They definitely have an energy of like um, not wanting to give up on you. Um, like there's some sort of like uh, persistent energy with them. Or, or they plan on being persistent. I feel like this person... It's not an option to walk away from you or to abandon this relationship or like to give up on this relationship. It's not an option. Hmm. I feel like they are trying to manifest you for sure with the magician. I'm just interested about how they're doing it. With the magician, they are trying to ma manifest you. They're trying to manifest this relationship back in back to life. All right, let me actually clarify that magician. Tell me about the magician spirit and this person's energy towards Libra. All right, we have the Five of Cups. No, sorry, Five of Pentacles. We also have the strength in reverse and the temperance card in reverse. This person is pretty confident that they can get you back. They just feel like they need to be very um, uh, persistent and consistent with you because they do recognize that you have a lot of insecurities in regards to them. And you have a lot of like um, doubts about them. And, and they recognize that you don't trust them. So they know it's going to take um, some time, but I feel like this person doesn't plan on going anywhere. Like they plan on just being patient. Hmm. Let 
Let's see why. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles spirit connected to this person's energy towards Libra. Why the Knight of Pentacles? No, not the no, not yet. Why the Knight of Pentacles and their energy towards Libra? Five of Cups in reverse. So they definitely want to return back to you. We also have the Eight of Swords in reverse. And we have the Ten of Wands. Weird energy. Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups. So they're kind of over it. Like whatever issues you two had in the past, Ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Like, I feel like this person's ready to like um, start a new chapter with you, you know, like, like wipe, wipe the slate clean and start over. Have a brand new beginning with you, basically. But they know it's they know it's going to take time because they know that you're um you're very closed off to them. Tell me about this four of cups energy connected to this person. Four of cups, the king of swords, okay. The moon and the hermit card in reverse. I'm trying to get their feelings, and I feel like I'm not getting their feelings, interestingly enough. It's weird. It's like you, you would think you would think their feelings would have um, sh showed up by now. And I feel like their feelings are not showing up. What's showing up is them deciding to continue working on on you and working on. On, on getting you back and getting this relationship back. Mm -hmm. King of Swords and then Moon. What about this? Uh, tell me more about this King of Swords and the Moon spirit. Let's see, there's a little bit of emotion here. What's the King of Swords and the Moon? The Emperor. Wow, that's the one you had on your side. The Emperor, Three of Wands, Ten of Cups in reverse. Emperor, Moon, and the Hermit in reverse with the King of Swords. What in the world? You see, this is why you have a problem with this person. This is exactly why you have a problem with them. This is, there's no emotion here. It's almost like they want to be back together with you just because. Because they can. Just because they can. But just because you can, you can do something doesn't mean that you should do something. You know? Because I feel like that's their attitude. They, they just feel like they can. So if they can, then why, why not? Well, because you can't give uh, Libra what they, what they deserve, you know? That's why not. Because they're not being emotionally um, open or, or willing to be emotionally um, generous and giving and loving and open. You know, I feel like this person is very re reserved in their in their emotions. So it's not equal because you're showing up as the Queen of Cups. So you're someone who has a lot of love, and someone who has the ability to share that love, but this person doesn't seem to have that same ability. So you know, it it. it it causes an unbalanced relationship. But I feel like this person's not thinking about that. It, it feels a little bit selfish. The, you know, 
their their desire for you feels a little bit selfish. What's the nine of cups in reverse? What's the nine of cups in reverse? It's, this person needs to open up emotionally. The sun in reverse. Oh, okay. Um, so this is kind of specific, but we do have the Knight of Pentacles here. So I also feel like this person, it's like, it's almost like something is not going well for them. I'm getting specifically in career. Um, the sun is a card that can represent your, your career. And we do have Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups in reverse. So I, I do feel like something is not really working out for them in regards to um, career and work or even finances. Whatever goals they have in that, in that sector of their life, they feel very, they feel very unfulfilled with the sun card. They feel very unfulfilled. And I feel like it's, it's causing this um, emptiness inside of them. And I feel like they're trying to like fill up that emptiness um, with you, you know? Or like with, with relationships. You know, just in general, just with relationships, with, with people. You know, they're, they're trying to fill that, that feeling of unfulfillment that they have in regards to their own personal goals. It doesn't have anything to do with relationships, but they're using relationships to kind of distract themselves, you know, from, from their feelings of inade inadequacy on, on a personal level, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I feel like this person has some goals, specific personal goals that they, that they desire to achieve, but it's not working out for them. And I feel like karma has a little bit, has something to do with it. We do have temperance in reverse. I feel like they're not being supported in, in their goals. Like the universe is not supporting them because the energy that they put out into the world is negative, you know? So with the moon and the, and the king of swords, the, the energy they put out into the world is negative. So then that's what, that's what comes back to them, you know? What you put out is exactly what you're, gonna, what you're going to get in return. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what's happening. Okay. All right. So um, Libra, I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person. And I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you, especially for this week. And then I'll take a look at um, the outcome. What's going to end up happening between you and this person moving forward. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.